Welcome to Diamond Express Diamond Painting Studios where today I'm working on a craft project of what to do with leftover diamonds and I am currently using a 12 inch piece of plywood I bought from Home Depot for just a couple dollars. I've painted it, I've sprayed it with some sticky tack spray mount and now I'm freehanding with the diamonds and ultimately the plan is to do some diamonds and then do the word dream right here and do the diamonds uh, the rest of these but I'm doing this video as a teaser for the final product uh, the final video which will be due out in a maybe about a week or two from today but I want to show you that you can freehand with diamonds uh, you don't necessarily need a canvas so if you're considering putting these diamonds on anything around the house uh, spray it with spray mount spray outside uh, that's just a word of, word of caution and then take your diamonds use I'm using a multi-placer pen I've got some mixed in colors in here those make up the stars this is gonna be a background uh, and it's kind of like a night sky and uh, I just take them and you have the primary diamond right here and everything radiates out this way from it and radiates directly straight up from it. So you can't, you can't start freehanding here because it might not connect. So you either have to go straight across, all the way across, or straight up, all the way up. So we just come over here and we're just freehanding these things in just like this. No grid lines, no symbols, nothing but her eyeball to keep us straight. And since it's a craft project, I don't have to follow a design. I can make up my own design as I go. And I can use this multi-placer to help me get it done faster. And when I come back over here to the left side, I gotta make sure I line this one up Take a little bit of time, make sure that's lined up, and then I'm off to the races again, right across, freehanding, using the spray mount, no grid lines, a piece of wood, and we're gonna make a wonderful design that'll hang in our home, and we'll look, we'll look nice, all with our extra diamonds. So this is one of the questions we get a lot, is what do you do with extra diamonds? And the real answer is whatever you'd like, and don't be afraid to experiment. And, you know, just think of something, just think of something nice, think of your idea, and then go for it and see if it works. And if it doesn't, that's okay too, because they are extra diamonds. And I don't want to get, I don't want to get these things two out of line so I correct them about every other row I'll go in and do what I like to call dental work on these things but once you get one diamond down that's the one that's the key diamond right here and everything again radiates uh, out and up from it and then you don't need grid lines at all to do straight across diamonds. And of course, as you guys know, you hear me say it oftentimes, uh, diamond painting is not rocket science. Don't, don't make it into rocket science. Stick, stick these little boogers on the end of the tent, buggers, I mean, on the end of the pen and place them and just keep going. And if you're off a little bit, you're off a little bit. But at the end of the day, the design will look, the design will look amazing. Okay, that's it. I hope it helps. I hope you guys, uh, gives you guys some ideas on what you can do with some of the things around the house with your extra diamonds. Okay, thank you for joining us. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you.